What is it? It's made from 29 pieces of metal, eight finely balanced spindles, and it's over 100 years old. Well, what is it? It's a letter scale. It was used in post offices a long time ago to weigh your letters and make sure they weren't over the limit. Here's how it worked. You simply tossed the letter on the top and you read the scale and it told you how much the letter weighed. Before we have a look at the mechanism, let's just talk about why it worked the way it did. No springs, nothing fancy like that, but it was very, very accurate. And it was accurate because it worked on the same principle as the seesaw. Now you know very well that if you have a seesaw uh, with equal sized pieces poking out over the spindle and equal sized people on each end, you can go backwards and forwards as long as you like. If you had a seesaw of this type, it might be okay for balancing a very heavy person with a light person, but you also know something else would happen, don't you? When the heavy person went down here, the light person would go up quite a long way there. A very small movement on the left-hand side gives you a large movement on the right-hand side. Just imagine if you had two seesaws connected together with the tip of the second one placed underneath the tip of the first one like that. Now you know that that end is going to move more than the short end here, but now you have another short end and another long end. What will happen out here? You've guessed it. The movement out there will be even more exaggerated. A tiny movement of my finger over on the left gives quite a large movement way over here on the right because we have two seesaws connected together. Well, in the case of the letter scale, there are eight little spindles or seesaws all connected one to the other. So a tiny movement up the top here which you can hardly see, will give you a movement down the bottom on the scale that you can see. Have a look at this. Here's a letter. Together with stamp and envelope, it's addressed and ready to go, so let's check its weight. Just drop it on there and look at the scale. Well, it's swinging backwards and forwards. It's almost stopping, almost stopped on one quarter, a quarter of an ounce or seven grams. That's the weight of that letter. Actually, the scales were accurate up to about four ounces, which is approximately the weight of a small orange. Have a look at this. When you put a larger object on the scale, you had to read this scale up here because the bottom part of those two swinging bits were now separated. But it was accurate up to about that weight. These days, of course, when you take a letter or a parcel to the post office, you don't have a scale of that type. You have an electronic scale of this type. And the post office attendant will take your letter and drop it on the scale like this. Let's check the weight. Remember what it was according to our 100 year old balance? It was a quarter of an ounce or seven grams. What does this say? Well, have a look at that. It says seven grams. So the two scales agree with one another. I want to know.